we're, we're uh, shooting for league platinum. Uh, so, you know, with the building, uh, there's a lot of features that, uh, you know, we're looking at doing with, with the straw bale construction, uh, a lot of innovation uh, with the overall uh, design. I mean, we have a pretty conventional structure. It's a steel frame, concrete floor slabs, a, a, a straw bale and earth plaster exterior wall system. Uh, interior walls are going to be actual conventional steel stud framing with earth plaster, or it's a uh, clay and straw infill. As far as the uh, overall energy efficiency of the building, you know, the R straw bales are in around uh, R40 to R50, which is really up there. Uh, the earth plaster uh, will give us the capability of uh, some de natural dehumidification, whereas the earth plaster will absorb and release humidity as it increases and decreases. Uh, so that'll, that'll help us with uh, keeping our energy costs lower with running equipment to compensate for you know, the occupants of the building. So all of our heating is in slab uh, heating and cooling, uh, which we will have six geothermal wells that will go to a depth of about 480 feet. So you know, once again, it, you know, very low energy usage for heating and cooling of the building. Uh, we have a lot of windows in the building we have natural daylighting. Uh, they're all casement operable windows. So the idea is uh, if you have low humidity outside and it's, it's a nice day, we're gonna have what's called a red light, green light system. If it's a red light, it's high humidity, you keep the windows closed and keep the humidity out of the building. A green light means the outside humidity is lower than what's in the building. Everybody opens their windows and you naturally ventilate. Uh, as far as our roof system, we, we, we did a spray foam insulation. Uh, we, you know, uh, we have just a, a high R value on our roof. We're doing a green roof. It'll be uh, a sedum roof, extensive sedum. So that'll help reduce our uh, rainwater runoff. Uh, that'll also help with some energy savings with, you know, with uh, the roof. Uh, gaining heat and releasing heat. Uh, we're doing a uh, pretty cool thing. We're doing a cistern, so we're going to collect rainwater. Uh, we're going to capture up to about 2,800 gallons of water. We're actually going to use that for flushing our toilets uh, and lighting. We're going to stick to LED lighting. So uh, once again, you know, saving energy on on electric. Uh, in the future, we will be putting up a uh, photovoltaic system on a roof PV system. As far as our, our finishes are concerned, you know, we're sticking with uh, exposed block and exposed steel. It'll just be cleaned up and should be a pretty nice, pretty nice, functional, comfortable, you know, office to work out of when we're all said and done.